Hey everyone, Steve from the Endless Sphere Forums. Um, just doing a little quick video. Um, just doing my new little FET matcher here uh, that I learned how to build from zombies on the forum. Um, so this uses the LM317 voltage regulator. Um, have power coming in. There's about a 8.5 volts that I'm using from my little power supply. So it comes in, goes into the input on the right side of the voltage regulator. The output is on the left pin. Um, the left pin then goes to with the wire, joins on to the gate. I get the gate pin on the MOSFET. Um, the ne then there is a negative wire here, which connects to the multimeter, and it also connects. Yeah, so it connects to actually both multimeters. So one, this is on a this is measuring the resistance of the MOSFET. This measures the voltage. Um, so for the voltage pins, so it goes to the output of the voltage regulator on the left side, goes to the multimeter for the voltage, and then the negative off the multimeter goes to the uh, source pin on the MOSFET. So that measures the voltage, and the resistance uh, is measured by this multimeter which goes to the the drain pin on the MOSFET and also to the negative so these are connected together so I'm doing this video here like my voltage regulator is working I guess okay <laughs> I should say so let me just lock this again so let me just explain so there's only one thing I've done a little bit differently and I'm not sure if I'm doing this right but I found that in order to get a proper output out of the voltage regulator, I must have a, a little bit of a load on it. So what I'm using is, those are two 1K resistors in parallel, so it's about 500 ohms. And it's connected to the gate pin on the voltage regulator, and it's connected to the um, source pin on the MOSFET. So this gives it a bit of a load. Uh, without this, what happens is that the voltage on the voltage regular stays at like a steady 8 volts like even if you adjust it, it doesn't do anything so you need some kind of load I guess for it to sense it and therefore you're able to adjust the voltage nice and accurately so uh, what I'm going to demonstrate here is I'm going to do two MOSFETs and I'm going to show the difference um, the difference in the voltage uh, switching between two MOSFETs so this MOSFET here is an, a MOSFET that I guess I've pulled out of some controller it's a used one but just to give you an idea, this is from a different batch of MOSFETs. So my, uh, my theory here that I have going is that when this hits zero, I guess that means it's fully switched on, and then you pay attention to the voltage. So I'm going to just demonstrate here. Okay, let me go down. So I'm just going to go to 3.5. Okay, so there we go. All right, so you'll see that the resistance in the bottom goes up. So, so from Zombie's post here, he says that the switching should occur at 3.9 to 4 volts. Um, so, here we go. So you'll see the bottom resistance starting to go down. I wish I had two fluke multimeters, but unfortunately I only have one. So now you see this, the MOSFETs, I guess, almost switched over, I guess. I'm not sure if I, I can explain this properly. So I'm going to keep going because it hasn't gone to zero yet. It's very close. There we go. 4.3 volts. This switch switched over. So... I'm going to just take a second here. That's one MOSFET. I'm just going to pull it out. So I'm not going to touch it. Uh, and Zombies mentioned also to use something that's a room temperature. So a set of pliers, for example. Now, what I'm going to show you here is another MOSFET, which 
is a different batch of MOSFETs. So I'm going to plug that in without touching anything. <laughs> it's not the best setup, but this is very uh, basic, but it does the job. Alright, so now again I'm going to toggle this down again. Go down. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to just start from here. Seven. Like, look at the difference in this MOSFET. That's crazy. This is going to trip over at like 3.8. That is a huge difference. Hold on, guys. Give me a second here. Oh, it's going to go a little higher. Oh, finally tripped over. So, 3 9. So, that's like a tenth of a volt difference over a tenth of a little difference between two different MOSFETs. Um, just going to pull it out again. Now, I only have very limited 41, 4115s here. These ones have got a little bit short legs. I could probably test them for all I wanted to. But, to give you an example, if this MOSFET was in this batch, what would happen is these two would switch over before this one, these two would take the current load for a couple milliseconds and explode, <laughs> most likely. So, 4115s have had bad reputation for that reason of blowing up MOSFETs, that's why a lot of people haven't used them, but despite their higher resistance, if they are matched, as a good example here, um, they should take the load and uh, Zombies has built a couple controllers with people that have been able to successfully run them. So. There you have it. I'm going to do some 41 tents tomorrow. It's like 3 in the morning right now. Uh, but I'm happy I got it set up. So I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching.